Hey Rebels, welcome to Speed Build Wednesday. We are re-uploading this because it is was frankly a hot mess the first time around. We are actually building the Bubble Bowl, um, which is a teen hangout place. It is, um, excuse me guys, it is a diner slash bowling alley with a nice little sweet surprise at the end which will be really cool for everyone um and again i will probably end up deleting the other video um but i wanted to let you guys know that i have been i had to make a choice between my own personal health and youtubing and simming and unfortunately um you know, YouTubing kind of takes a back seat when it comes to either that or personal health. And so I have not been active for quite a few days and I apologize, but when it comes to my health, it, my health is more important than YouTube. So um, I'd like to apologize there. I overdid it and I knew I shouldn't have and I actually got yelled at. Uh, by people that care about me so uh, needless to say I'll still probably do it again but you know because I'm just that stubborn but um, you know I'm I'm better now I'm much better now I'm still very 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 much hurting um, but I have appointments Monday Wednesday and Friday for this particular thing that is going on with me um, so out here, because we're building in Windenburg, I wanted the best, I wanted it to fit in with Windenburg as much as it could anyway, um, uh, just because it was going to look so modern on the outside, I wanted it to look very, um, traditional, like almost like a converted, something that was converted, and unfortunately, uh, I did not get to do that, and... That's uh, very, very sad, but uh, in the end, we ended up changing that because it, it just didn't work. Um, so the right side of, or the left side now of the screen is going to be our um, bathrooms and our quote unquote diner. It's actually more of like a cafe. So they don't really sell like burgers there. They're that area is more like espresso kind of like a starbucks vibe almost um i was messing with those windows i really liked them pulled out like that but with the the shining on the back it, it weird so i ended up pulling the whole thing out um and then we end up do making it we end up making it a restaurant for um the other side because we end up putting a little bit of a diner um kind of snack snack place where you can buy like uh french fries stuff like that the basics um over at the restaurant end of it so i thought i cut all of this out guys i'm sorry i'm not redoing it i've redone it twice already i'm not redoing it again um so we i don't know what i'm doing here beats me um, so I'll just sing a song. No, I'm kidding. I won't sing a song. My voice is horrible and, um, yeah, yeah, you have a right to run me off the stage, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, should be almost, I know I cut some of this out. It was like three minutes worth of just sitting here, um, sped up. So I know I cut some of it out. Um, but... Yeah, I've been working my butt off with stuff. I'm trying to fill the silence of, like, the awkward staring at the screen here. Um, but usually I'm really good at, like, knowing when I take a break or something. Because I'm, I usually, like, am functioning enough to remember when I'm taking that break. But unfortunately, I don't think I did here. I'm sorry about that. I love you guys. Don't unsubscribe. Oh, so, I don't know. There's nothing exciting, really. Um, oh, yeah. I, 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 mm, 
I'm doing a lot of... I'm getting ready to do something really, really big. And I don't want to say too much before it's finalized. Uh, but it is going to happen, and I'm really, really excited about it, except it wears me out quite a bit. Super, super just drains me um, with everything I have to do to get ready for it. So, yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, that's the downside of it. Um, what is going on here? Okay, here we go. We're back in business, people. <laughs> um... Almost. There we go. Like, I don't know what that was. That was weird. Um, but right now I'm just messing with the outside because I don't like the way it looks. And then I'm trying to, like, I think in the end I just, like, go with, um, like, a, like, almost like it was a converted warehouse. Um, like, so it was added on to, um... The coffee shop, I think, would have been the add-on, um, but it's basically just a warehouse that was converted to, you know, fit the needs of what it needed at the time, and it's been added on to since. So, I'm trying to, we're doing the bathrooms right now, and that's the one thing I really, really don't like about the tall, tall, um, walls, is they feel so out of place with, um, the small doors, at least to me, like, they feel super out of place and super weird. Um, but I guess, ultimately, I mean, it is what it is. We have what we have. But actually, I might, just for the pure, like, curiosity of it, I might try and see if there's any, like, large custom content doors that are, like, full size. Because it just looks so obnoxiously tiny compared, at least in my opinion. I don't know. It just feels out of place. Um... So even like a medium door or something that's not a double door for certain areas, like, you know, the bathrooms, the, you know, and it's unfortunate that we have to do that. But so right now we are just working on the bathrooms and putting bathroom sinks in. The only custom content I feel like I used, if I can remember correctly, was the bathroom area. It was really the only custom content that I used. Um... And it was really only the sinks and the um, lamp that I'm going to put in here in a second. So I kind of did like, I usually, I just do one bathroom. Um, but I actually did boy and girl bathroom this time. Um, just because, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I usually do a unisex bathroom and just be done with it, but I really liked the um, idea of having, like, a feminine bathroom and a masculine bathroom for some reason. Um, so the male bathroom is on what it would be our right our left right now, and then the female is on the right. So <sighs> I really liked that until I saw it had, like, a nucleus thing in it. I really liked it until then. Um... And then we're just going to put in some rugs in here, and then we're going to put in, I don't know about you, but I feel like that rug, that, that color, those colors on the rug makes me like super angry, that yellow. Yellow makes me super angry, and I don't know why. It makes most people happy, but it makes me super, super angry for some reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it makes you guys angry or if it's, that's just me. Um... I think we're almost done with the bathroom, honestly. Um, I don't think there is. Is there anything else? We just do the uh, bathroom over here and do like the bathroom stuff. Uh, you know what I wish? I wish we had like those, like in Sims 3, there were, I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was like the bathroom stalls. So it wasn't like the all-in-one porta potty thing, but it was like the bathroom where you had individual bathrooms, and I really, really miss that. So you could have like 
a bathroom with four or five stalls in it that cater to four or five people. And I really, 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 really miss that badly. So I hope they put that in too soon. Maybe we'll get that with university because I think we got that with university. Maybe did we get that with university? I don't remember, honestly, because I was still playing Sims 2 when Island Paradise came out. And I finally had a job, so uh, my health was a lot better at that time. So I ended up buying all the packs at once at like discounted prices because they were getting ready for Sims 4 to come out. So I think the only one that I paid full price for was like Island Paradise, which was really, really nice. I'm trying to find like the Katy Perry stuff pack. I think the stuff in it is super effing ugly, but I still want it to say that I have all of them. So I'm trying to find the Katy Perry sweets sweet treats pack and I can't find it anywhere and I thought I don't know did they make just like a certain amount of those I can't remember but I don't know um so you'll see me here trying to mess with um this counter I wanted to do like a really cool like homemade counter and it just didn't work with what I wanted to do with it I wanted it to be kind of like that with but I, I didn't know if it was going to glitch out and I didn't actually have someone here on this lot to um, test it out. Um, so I need to remember to do that because I, I was like, I really want it to be like a really awesome counter. But there was going to be like stuff to put the stuff, uh, putting stuff on it to use. And I just didn't want the Sims to like spaz out and be like, I can't reach it. So I ended up... Um, Going through a couple of re-edits of this, and then finally I'm just like, this is just not working like I want it to work. This is frustrating. Um, and then I ended up just putting in, like, a generic um, counter from, I think, Get to Work for, like, um, coffee. So, unfortunately, that was the best I could do. Because um, I also wanted the bar stools there, but I didn't want... The the equipment necessarily to block out the bar stools so it was kind of like one of those like I want this but I don't want it like the the way I can think about it right now I, I don't want I want the people sitting at the bar to have a full, full view of the barista and stuff so I didn't want that to like hinder their view and so they could talk to the barista more like a bar um but um you know, less adults. <laughs> I really wish they had those in the large size because I really like them used as like a full curtain. Um, but I, they don't have them in large. So I'm wondering if like somebody picked them up in CC and made them large. Cause I, 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 I would literally give anything for that because I seriously, um, I like it, but I can never use it for tall walls. And the only time I would really want to, really ever want to use it is for tall walls. So it's kind of like a bummer. It's a major, major bummer. Um, right now I am looking for the bowling lanes. And we found them, and I'm looking, they say, for a nightclub lounge or a bar. Um, I might actually change this place to a bar. It's kind of rough, because I like the fact that we actually have someone running the chef station when we put it in but um I'm just afraid that everyone's just gonna eat and not actually you know um use the bowling alley which is the whole reason why it's there so um yeah it's it's kind of like a tough thing like so I have to actually do some gameplay with it and see if it's gonna work like I want it to work so I wish we could have like double, like we could have like two, it functions as two things. Because actually one day I want to own my own cake shop and I want it to have cakes, but I also want it to be a coffee shop and I want it to be like an artsy place. So like my friend sells, like she does amazing, super amazing artwork and um, she wants to sell them but uh, has no place to sell them. So one day when I have the money and get my own place and get, you know, a coffee shop and um, all of that, I I want to 
have part of it a coffee shop and bakery and then the other part I want it to be like an artsy like people pick up like things that uh, are commissioned there um, just kind of like an artsy gallery kind of thing and actually I might build that on sims just just for something fun um, but and actually I could probably do that yeah I can do that um, so, but that's kind of really important to me. Um, so I wish they could, we could combine it like a bowling alley and a coffee shop or something. Actually, I wish they had coffee shops, period, on The Sims 4 because with how much I go and want to get coffee and I'm just too poor to do it, honestly, <laughs> um, I would totally like make a coffee shop and be like, okay, Samish, you're going to work. So let's get you coffee before you go. And we're going to go every day because I have to live vicariously through someone. And that just happens to be my computer people. So, <laughs> Oh guys, I don't even know. Like I splurged on coffee today. I did. I was a bad person. I splurged on coffee today, but you know what? I needed it. I literally hadn't bought anything for myself in like three months. So, um, yeah, I, you can't blame me. And I mean, come on, guys. It's coffee. Um, and my home coffee just really wasn't going to cut it today. So I went and I bought that. We are working on the chairs right now. I'm sorry. I'm such a ditz today. I was actually um, watching Simarki's YouTube channel for streaming, and she uh, we were she was doing a live stream, and I was so morbid. Like, <laughs> I think some of you are subscribed to me, and some of you are subscribed to her, so you guys like totally get it. Like, I was like, we were she's building a mall, and she was just like. So what should we make today? I should, I'm like, you should make, someone suggested like um, a cow, like a, a gardening place. And I'm like, you should make a cow plant and they could eat the customers. And then she goes, okay. And then someone else suggested like a graveyard. I'm like, yes, yes, do a graveyard and like a graveyard garden combo with cow plants in it. So the cow plants, like the people that get eaten by cow plants, their dearly departed loved ones have a one-stop shop. <laughs> like, I'm so, I'm like, I'm so morbid, guys. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm usually okay. I'm usually pretty good to rein it in. But today I was just like super morbid for some reason. And I, I don't know if it's me being tired. I just don't know. But I was all like, yes, let's kill the Sims. <laughs> So we are working on the bowling alley right now, and we are actually almost done with it. Um, we're going to move things over a little bit. And I do make, uh, I bring a sim on to the lot later and make the lights colored. I think I do like purple or blue or something like that, like something really like neon-y. Um, so that turns out to be really fun. Um, what am I doing? Am I looking for decorations? Oh, I'm looking for things to put on the um, tables. And then I'm like, oh, wait, no, I want to add a little snack bar. So we go ahead and do that. Um, it's nothing big. It, it's quite literally, what, three by four? Yeah, so there's just enough room for someone to go in and do what it needs they need to do. And they're like, yo, food's up. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so we moved that over and... Um, that's from the new bowling stuff pack. It's really, really cute. I like it. I love those lights. Those lights are, like, so, like, do-it-yourself vintage. I love it. Super cute. So, I am trying to... I'm trying to brighten up that uh, that side because it's so dark. It is so like meh, and I wanted to do something with what was really bright. And unfortunately, the only thing that I could see was like this. So we end up doing it with those lights, and I hate those lights because they're so like I don't know, they're so industrial. But um, it was the brightest thing I could think of with the least amount of um, lights, if that makes sense. 
Okay, Rebels, we are back. I am so, so sorry about that. That was just a hot mess. Um, and I don't know if I... I must have edited it wrong where it just kept replaying itself. It was really weird, guys. So, um, we're back now, and there is our owner again. And I think I'm going to do, like, a bonus build um, next week. And then I have a couple more builds that I have I'm working on. Um... One is really exciting. One is my grandma's house, and I will warn you guys, I will probably cry like a baby at some point during that build um, while I'm narrating it because uh, she has passed on, and uh, she does not own that house anymore, obviously. She's just gone, um, and it's not in the family, and I never got to say goodbye to it, and it, it kills me to uh, not be able to have said goodbye to it. Um, so it was kind of like my healing process, or uh, part of it, to go and um, build it and just to those have those memories. Um, we're working on the roof. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so I actually spent more time at my grandmother's house than I did at my own house. Um, I can tell you every single nook and cr cranny of that house. Granted, it's not very big, but, um, you know. Uh, so we are just going to do the roof, and this is why I decided to call it the bubble bowl, because I actually make the house, the roof, like, bubbles. Like, I make it look, like, bubbly. And I heard of, like, you know, you hear, like, the poppy bowl, and I just wanted to do, like, a play on words, so I really wanted to do something fun like that. Um, and this is almost done, guys. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we just name it, uh, I think we change the plate, the, um... You know, oh gosh, my brain is not working. We changed the type of venue. Um, and rename it the Bubble Bowl. So that is about it on my end, Rebels. Oh, we changed the outside too. Um, so thank you so, 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 so much. Um, please stay tuned for pictures of this place because I had a lot of fun building it. And I hope you had a lot of fun listening to my crazy stories. Have a great morning, night, afternoon, wherever you are. Stay true, Rebels. Bye.